He's going back to jail. Des Moines resident Doug Jensen in federal court this morning to learn he didn't follow the rules of waiting for his trial. Local 5's John Diaz shares how we got here and what happens to Jensen next. This is me touching the White House. Des Moines resident Doug Jensen filming himself in front of the Capitol, not the White House, on January 6. Cell phone video straight from Jensen, just one of the exhibits in his federal court case. Jensen also seen on video chasing a police officer up the hallways of the Capitol. Here's a timeline for Jensen's case. January 6, we already mentioned that date. It's when thousands stormed the U.S. Capitol. Federal prosecutors believe Jensen was involved in the attack inside the Capitol building. He's facing several charges. Three days after the attack, Jensen turned himself into authorities in Des Moines. Since then, he's been in and out of federal court. This summer, federal judge Timothy Kelly agreed to let Jensen out of jail while he waits for his trial. Jensen had several conditions for his release, including not using the Internet. A month after he was out, federal prosecutors say Jensen already violated the terms. He was caught using the Internet, watching Mike Lindell's election fraud symposium online. And today, Jensen is back in jail. Judge Kelly saying, quote, it's clear that he has not experienced the transformation his lawyer described, that he has continued to seek out those conspiracy theories that led to his conduct on January 6. John Diaz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.